What's up, everybody? It's your man Jay Field from How to Make Very Sick Beats.com. I gotta contain myself right now. I'm gonna show you guys a way that you can sample and use tons and tons and tons of samples for free from the Library of Congress. That's right, let's get into it. <laughs> guys, I stumbled on this and some people are gonna really hate me for this. this <laughs> it could be like man why are you giving away all these secrets man and i was thinking should i really talk about this and then i was like thinking about all the people that's gonna be hating on me like man yeah man Jay, what's wrong with you but guess what i don't care i'm gonna tell you guys anyway so the name of the website is citizen dj labs this is it man this is crazy shout out to brian Fu. he is the creator of this thing this is basically a library of tons and tons and tons and tons of samples that you could use at your disposal. It was geared for DJs and beat makers. And you know, as collectors and crate diggers, this is a paradise for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through this, man, and show you, man. You have these different collections. I'm just gonna randomly pick one, man. They are available. Why are they available? Because they are in the public domain. And you know what that means. That means it's up for grabs. You do whatever you want, do whatever. <laughs> for example, this free music archive and explore so i hit this explore button right and it's going to load a bunch of sounds you see this i can drag my mouse and just listen to what they have available <laughs> You know, and these are just little chunks and pieces. So if I want to get specific and find out what it really is, I just click on it. So let's just pick a random right here. Once I pick one that I like, I can hit remix this or play in context or download it to my computer. Let's uh, let's remix this and see what happens. It also gives you this little sequencer, which is really dope. I wanted to show you guys this. If I play it. As you can see, I have a sequencer with drums and I can actually go ahead and reprogram these drums and you have different styles of drums and these drums also are available for you. This is, this is phenomenal. I can shuffle this and do just play and... <laughs> So that just picked another sample for me, you know. And look at this. I can hit this little drop menu and it has all these different samples, man. So you could just go through and pick whatever sample you want and then change the sequence pattern. You know what I'm saying. Play and you can change the BPM, you know, do whatever you want with it. You can download the pattern, record it, share it, save the pattern, do what you do. This is a paradise. I can't believe this is free. This is like, okay, so let's say you, you just want the drums. Let's just mess with the drums itself, man. Let's go down here and you have these different drum patterns. See all this? I can hit play and change that up. You know, say, let's say I don't want those drums. You have Emu, the SP, the Lin, the Lin drum, the Oberheim, 808, the TR-909. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> the CR-78. Right? And then I could add in more sounds if I wanted to, like another track. Maybe I wanted a rim and, and I could add that, you know, see? So I could do something like this. <laughs> you know, you just, just for example, that's just for an example. And then we could choose other drums, maybe the SP-12. Change it up a little bit, you know. You know, they just you just just have fun with it, man. Just have I just wanted to share this guys with you. You can choose a plethora of different samples, man. I mean, including like dialogues. A lot of us we might want dialogues in our beats. 
Let me show you something real quick. Let me go back. American English dialect recordings. Look at this. 118 hours of recordings. Just, just crazy, man. Explore that. Drag. And, and you just go through whatever, Drag. man. You actually can use these filters. See this? Find the subject. And this goes for all of the collections. They have filters. So if you want to look for a certain genre, you could do that. It's crazy. So let's say I wanted to look for, I don't know, um, African Americans. It just filtered it. And then it tells you what it is. Conversation with a 24-year-old male. See, it, this is just bananas, man. I could play in context. Oh, you know, my teacher talks so fast, you know, and sometimes I don't understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could download it and do whatever you want, man. Music-wise, you can go through your filters again. Say you want to look for a certain key. You, you want something in the key of C. I don't know. And it narrows it down. It's crazy. It's just, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. <laughs> so you could go that route if you want to. It's just, it's just crazy. Okay, here's another really, really crazy thing. I can download this in bulk, meaning I can have the one shots, like in this case, 4,096 one shots or 259 audio segments and just have it into one folder on my computer. So now you can use that and just drag that into your DAW. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> bananas so I did that and I'm going to show you an example here's an example of a folder that I downloaded it gives you like all the credit information of, as far as where the sample came from and I would recommend that to give the proper credit if you want to but you don't owe them anything see that's the sick thing <laughs> so look this is like excerpts man from one of the folders from the free music archive And this is tons of stuff. Then you got the one shots. Man, look. Look at all this, man. MP3 or Waves. I downloaded the MP3. So I was messing with a beat inside GarageBand. And I pulled in from this folder that I downloaded from the website. <laughs> I chopped it up. And you know how we do. You just do your thing. I chopped it up. <laughs> Change the key a little bit. Added some drums, something like this, and a bass line, some more sounds, and then do it. Boom. <laughs> hey. Guys, I don't know what else to tell you. Check it out. It's your man, Jay Field. I hope that was helpful to you. For those who are always looking for samples, you worried about, you know, sample clearances. You, you worried about giving credit. Because I get this question all the time, man. Here you go. I'll leave the link down below if you're interested. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notify bell button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. It's your man, Jay Field. I'm sending peace and positive energy. Yeah.